This is really a, a focused team effort. So we really have the best people in the business doing this. We have Bristol Harbor Group uh, doing the marine design. They're from Rhode Island. Um, we have uh, the National Robotic Engineering Center, like I mentioned, one of the leading robotics uh, institutes in the world. Uh, we have uh, USACE's own um, Marine Design Center out of Philadelphia. Uh, I mentioned the uh, American Bureau of Shipping Group out of Houston, Texas. Um, also, we have Erdic is working with us on some fleet analysis study. And we're also partnered with uh, the local community through Heinz Community College. As far as the design phase and everything else, we originally started out with one of our architectural engineer firms, the Bristol Harbor Group, to help us design the boat itself. We let the contract, the task order with Bristol One through an IDIQ, an indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract for the AE firm to help design. Then we went on to finding someone who could do the robotics for us, and that was the National Robotics Engineering Center here in Carnegie Mellon University here in Pittsburgh. So they are one of the contracts that I oversee. At the same time, we just recently put out the actual contract for the barge portion itself, and that I will be the project manager and will oversee the actual construction of the barge moving forward for about the next two or three years. We have cooperated on, a, on what I think has been a fabulous effort uh, by uh, NREC to come out. They make visits out to the actual unit and they spend time out there. They look at what's going on and there's a phrase that I use to describe NREC. It's the smartest bunch of people with common sense I've ever met in my life. And it, it's really amazing. They come out with an open mind and they look at what we've got. They, they I was impressed when they first showed up, they went and looked at our tying tool. They had, they had one of their employees come out, and his job was to look at our tying tool that actually ties the mat together. I expected him to come back at the end of the day and say, man, that's pretty good, but we can, we can blow that out of the water. He came back that evening, and he walked in the door. He said, the first thing I'm going to tell you is you've got an awesome machine. And I was like, wow, that's, that's impressive. He said, the, the actual internal parts of the gearbox, I don't see changing that much at all. We can change some other things. We can drive it differently uh, with electricity, uh, battery power rather than air possibly or whatever, but you've got a great machine. So it proved to me that they weren't there just to change things. They were there to make things better and make them more efficient. And also they have spent so much time out there on the deck talking to the employees looking at all the systems, talking to us, it's, it's been a super cooperation effort. And, and I've been, I could not have been any more pleased. We are blessed to have them involved in this project. Much of our effort has been focused on the integration of uh, the robotic components with our structure. So our structure includes um, both the, the, the actual barge, the, the, the actual vessel that this will uh, be mounted on, but also the main gantry that goes over the entire uh, barge that supports all of these robots. So these accelerations and things that they're testing here are direct inputs into the structural design that we're working on. We love being part of uh, these cutting edge programs. We work for NASA, we work for the submarine community, and here we are working with NREC and with the Army on this. It's very rewarding to be part of uh, something like this, but then it's also kind of fun to be involved in uh, robots. That's not something a naval architect does every day.